Hello all my makeup freaks and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi I'm Stephanie. So I have kind of been on a no buy for quite a few months. I tend to go on one like before Christmas and it really I think started maybe like September, October-ish. I was just like I was in a bad mood. I was I was not like feeling makeup. I was taking a break from YouTube and I was just like you know one I had to like buy presents for everyone and the other I just I wasn't feeling makeup but let me just say I am back guys I'm back YouTube I am back like makeup shopping I'm back I'm back okay so I decided to go ahead and show you like a few things that I've picked up over the past like a little bit um this is definitely not like in one shopping trip that I get all of this and yeah, there's just a lot of new things out on the market and I decided to get some and like try it out and see my thoughts. Some of the stuff I'm wearing today and as I'm going through, if I'm wearing it, I will like let you know. So first thing is this Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. I absolutely just think it is gorgeous. Like it is a beautiful, beautiful pink. I love hearts for one thing. I am wearing this today um, and yeah. It still smells like chocolate so what better like Valentine's gift than this like here box of chocolates and makeup you know and I mean like the little shadows are hearts they're just so cute next thing I'm also wearing is this Too Faced Love Flush long lasting 16 hour blush wardrobe I did not even know this was like a thing I had not seen any post on it now I'm not one to like necessarily like go out and look for makeup um like post and like different pictures like I do follow some people on Instagram that show things but that's not something like I don't particularly keep track of what is coming out so I saw this I was just at Ulta the other day and I was like this is really really pretty number one it is hearts um I love Too Faced products that they're cruelty free and I thought this was a really nice way of getting like every single blush color without spinning an arm and a leg. Yes, it's a smaller little amount of blush, but I have never in my life went through a whole thing of blush. And I don't know, like Baby Love, I'm kind of a little obsessed with this color. And it's not something like I would have went out and bought, but I just think it is gorgeous. This is what I'm wearing today, which is the Justify My Love color. This is pretty much like what I would have went to was like the hot pink. And then probably the Lo Your Love is King, which is like a purpley color. I just think it's really pretty. Um, just really gorgeous and I'm excited. I will have review demo kind of things on both of these products. And I will let you know like my thoughts on them pretty soon. A lot of these things I will probably have like videos on. Um, I bought a few mascaras to try out I actually have a video coming up and you may see this video before you see this haul video but I wanted to put this up because these are things that I've bought recently this is a new mascara from Wet n Wild it is called Max Fanatic cat eye mascara beautiful tube color and I got this Milani mascara which is called big and bigger lashes and then this is called length and second lash extension fibers i actually bought this thinking that it was a primer for mascara and it's not um, i'll have a review of these two products soon a couple of other milani products is i did find the new amori matte lip creams and i have the color fancy which is what i'm wearing today I absolutely just think it's beautiful and this one is in a oh, gorgeous which I think is gorgeous and yeah so um, I'm trying it out I'm gonna see if like maybe the formula is a little bit different because this definitely I mean watch hold on hold on one second like nothing um, I'm wondering if they played around with the formula a little bit I'll, I'll let y'all know but that's what I'm kind of thinking that they did. A couple of new things from Hard Candy. It's new, at least it says it's new and I haven't seen it before. 
this sheer envy primer lift and firm it says it moisturizes and brightens and tightens facial contours i i don't know what it does like i am wearing it today we will see if i you know if it keeps my makeup in place i'm fine um i did actually get it because it says moisturizes and brightens i wanted to see like what that was about versus the like tightens i mean i'm kind of afraid of tighten like is it gonna make me okay okay guys so i'm sure like the color is a little different and you see i'm wearing a jacket it's been a few hours since the first part of this video my aunt actually came over and i had to stop we went out to eat and just hung out with the family for a little while i'm hoping i won't like go over stuff that i've already went over i'm just going to jump back into it so another thing from hard candy and i think I, the last thing i was talking about was this sheer envy lift and firm primer i am wearing it today i'm going to wear it a couple more times and then do a review video on it um, but i got it mainly for the moisturizing aspect hoping that i can find a good drugstore primer for dry skin the next thing is this highlight and contour face duo stick i got the color light duh and i will have to say this color looks really really nice it's like a taupey brown with a little undertone of gray which is really like what light skin people need um you know i'm talking to the ghost skin people okay and the concealer or the highlight i don't know if it's going to be light enough to actually be a highlight or if it would be more like a concealer we'll just see how that works i will have a video of this like coming up soon the thing that i'm really most excited about and i don't know why are th these hard candy velvet mousse matte lip color for one thing like it comes in a case it comes in a tin it's a lipstick that comes in a tin what and it's really really pretty this is in the color dahlia i only picked up one color i know that more than likely before i do a video on this i'm going to pick up at least two more colors they did have a dark purple and they had like a red i'll probably pick up those but I thought this was the most unique for my collection. It does have a mirror and then the lip color is there. As you can see, I have not used it. And yeah, but I'm really excited. And I wanted to pick up this color just because I'm kind of addicted lately to like this brown, red, purpley 90s color. I don't know what's going on with me, but I've, I've been like gravitating towards this lipstick shade next thing i picked up a couple of these little puppies these are the nyx lingerie lip whatever they're called lip cream lip liquid lipsticks i don't know um let me just say right off the bat nude lips are not my thing they're really not and i mainly wanted to get these to just try the formula out because everyone seemed to be like crazy about these and i got the color um teddy which is like a brownish nude. And this one is embellishment. And let me just say, Nyx, like you really do not realize that half the population is over 30 and they're getting blind. Please put your names bigger. Like they have the number bigger where you can see the number. But the name, let me just show you. It'll, it'll bitty. Like you can't hardly see that. It's ridiculous. Um, there was another color that I wanted, but it was just sold out. But I thought, hey, I'll give them a try. Nude lips and like really pale skin does not go together all that great. We kind of look like the Crypt Keeper, unless we have some color up on our face and our lips and stuff. But I'm going to give it a try. While I was at the NYX area, I also went ahead and picked up a new NYX brow gel in the color espresso i've talked about this stuff a lot i really do like it now funny enough when i tried this and it may just be because i just opened it and i don't remember about the first one this was a little bit more runny than the originally one i had and that one dried out so i'm wondering if like the one i had originally was kind of like an older like you know it had been sitting on the shelf for a second i i don't know but I, even though it was a little more runny and like, oh, I've got a little bit too much on the brush. I think it did good. Now, this is not 
a product you want if you want really really natural now na uh nails if you want natural nails yes please put eyebrow gel on your nails girl okay this is not like a product if you want like super natural looking super natural haha -ha. if you want natural looking eyebrows this is probably not the product for you i kind of like my eyebrows to like be there be their own like little zip code and never leave you know what i mean this lasts all day until i take it off it is there it is like super brow super brow central that's what this is and i love it so i went ahead and picked up another one i picked up a few brushes from the drugstore one is this elf contouring brush it is just kind of like a flat brush in fact like i'll just like let's see because i'm not gonna probably do a like video about the elf contouring brush unless it's just like the best brush ever but i have some elf brushes that i really like oh this one hey ooh, this one feels nice guys huh so basically you're just gonna really be able to chisel out or you're supposed to just really be able to chisel out your contour area so we're gonna see how this works but um, I've been looking at brushes that are kind of shaped like this for much more money than this. And I do really like some of the e.l.f. Studio brushes. So I went ahead and picked that up. And also I picked up the small angled brush from e.l.f. I thought this would be good. I'm going to give this a try for my eyebrows. My eyebrow brush that I use is actually like broken half. So I have like this much brush. So all of the bottom half of the brush that I'm using now, which is just like an El Cheapo brush, but it's just the best one that I found. Now, the only problem I have with this brush right off the bat is when I was looking for them, I looked at three brushes, the same brush, small angle brush from Elf. All three of them had a little bit of a different cut. I, for that amount of brushes, when I'm like looking at these all look different, that's a problem. So maybe a little quality control issue. I don't know, but they really did. All of them look different. I just thought this one was the best slant and just cut the best. So I picked that one up. I have been interested in this brush ever since I saw it out. This is the Real Techniques Bold Metal Collection pointed crease brush. I love pointed crease brushes. I don't know why I have some kind of issue with crease brush. Actually, it's not even pointed crease brushes. I love crease brushes. I have more crease brush than any other brush in my collection. And I'll use like, I don't know, five and a look. <laughs> like, I was like, oh yeah, I need this blending brush for this. And I need this crease brush for this. But I really do. Like, I love crease brushes. Um, and I really liked the way this one looked. So I went ahead and picked it up. Two things right off the bat that I'm worried about. Number one, I've only had one other Real Techniques brush. And it completely fell apart. I have had brushes that I've had for, I don't know, 10 years. that are still perfect. I washed all my brushes the same way. Have not had any problem. Um, I have low-end brushes. I have like no name brushes. I have brushes from Icing. I have brushes from BH Cosmetics. I have matte brushes. I wash all of them the same. My only Real Techniques brush, which was like a foundation brush, all of the hairs just started coming up. Um, and in fact, like it all came out, like just one glob of hair just came out. So I'm hoping I got like a faulty brush and they don't use like crappy glue, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try. And I guess the other one is I do kind of think the price tag is a little high. But I would only think it's high based on my brush falling apart. So if I saw this brush, had never used it before, just the way it looks, I'd be like, yeah, that's a great price. Um, I'm hoping that I get it. And this is like the softest brush ever. And I just love it. I'm trying to open it. But yeah, ow. That was kind of painful. The things that hurt when you have fake nails okay i'm just gonna fill this brush okay i think okay okay it's nice and soft but it's also it's firm so i think it will you know get my product where i want it to go i can't get it off this little thing though. oh it just comes like 
Huh, that's interesting. It's not, it's not round. I thought it was kind of round, but it's like triangular kind of. And it's heavier in the front versus heavier in the back. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm going to use this tomorrow and I'll let y'all know. Last but definitely, definitely not least, I got the Urban Decay, what is this called? Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. It comes in a black box with Spectrum colors. And this is what the palette itself looks like. I'm not going to talk about this overly much because I am going to do a look and a review of this palette. It's in a black case. The other side of this is a mirror and it's like a box so you could use it afterwards. And then this is what the shadows themselves. Oh my goodness. Are they not beautiful? Look at those. Ah. Like sometimes when I just look at Urban Decay palettes, like things start singing to me. I don't know why. But that is gorgeous. Like I said, I'm not going to get into like my thoughts on that palette or um, how it works because I am going to be doing a look and a review for that palette. So I hope you enjoyed this haul, my first 2016 haul. Woo! I'm planning a few more. I know definitely ColourPop, ColourPop, you mind, baby. I'm coming to get you pretty soon. So I'm going to have a ColourPop haul soon, probably a Jeffree Star. Um, that will be mixed in because I'm, you know. Um, but I know he's coming out with highlighters at some point this year, I think. But I'm going to get some lipsticks from him soon because I love his formula. But let me know. Let me know down below if you've bought anything recently. What are you loving? What do I need to pick up? I mean, you know, I'm up for shopping suggestions. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.